Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. They have given the program in Python programming language. So we have to convert it into C programming language. So let us understand the program first. So first I get getting the input integer n. Let it be 3. And then they are iterating from 1 to n plus 1. And for all the iterations they get the current row as a list so maybe any numbers which is uncountable so let it be 4 to 5 for the first row and then for the second row let it be 6 to and for third row let it be 1 2 3 1 2 4 5 8 so since we have integer n we have n as 3 we have 3 rows and these three rows contains several integers which is uncountable and finally we have to print the length of the current row that is the length of the current row and the sum of the current row which means for example for the, in this first row we have the length of the current row that is we have three integers so we length is three and the sum is four plus two plus five it is eleven and here the length is two and the sum is eight and here the length is five and the sum is one plus two plus four plus five plus eight which is twenty so finally this will be our output now we will take our another test case where we have integer n as 2 so we have two rows 1 2 5 and 2 so in the first row the length is 3 and the sum is 8 for the second row it is length is 1 and sum is 2 so this will be the output now let us solve it in c programming language now let us solve this program in C programming language. So first we have to get the integer n and then so here we get the integer n and we move to the next line. After getting the integer n now we have to iterate over a loop. So for int CTR equal to 1, CTR less than equal to n, and CTR plus plus. So here we have the current row. So here we have to get the current row that is in sum equal to 0, length equal to 0, and the num and then we'll get the character ch so this is because if there is a space between the integers means we'll get the other integers so if there is if it moves to the next line means we have to break the loop right so that's why we are getting the character ch so if it is Moving to the next line will break the loop. So for this we'll have to run a while loop. So while true will get the character ch. get the num and the ch and after this we have to assign that is 
we have to add the num to the sum and increment the length by 1 so which indicates a number is added to the sum and then if the character is equal to equal to the line that is slash n or slash r means we have to break the loop and finally we have to print the length and the sum as the output.